Hello and welcome to EnglishLogica.com's Synonyms video series. In this video, we help you expand your vocabulary in relation to the word happiness. We introduce you to synonyms for happiness, their noun, adjective and adverb forms. Here are the words we are going to cover. You will see in the left column that we have words that are in common use or spoken English, while in the right column, these are words that you are more likely to find in advanced exams. In our common use, we will cover ecstasy, euphoria, contentment, gratification, and blissfulness. While in the advanced exam section, we will cover jubilation, delirium, exuberance, delectation, elation, exhilaration, joviality, rapture, and gaiety. Now let's move on to our examples. Our first word is ecstasy, ecstasy. This is a state of extreme or overwhelming joy or happiness. The word ecstasy is sometimes used in relation to religious experiences, but it's more often associated with being intoxicated by drugs or enjoying a highly pleasurable experience. Here are some examples. Example one, he had taken a lot of drugs and was clearly in a state of ecstasy. He had no idea what was going on. Example two, the congregation raised their hands to the air in a display of ecstatic worship. Example three, they danced around ecstatically, unaware of the people watching them. Our next word is euphoria, euphoria, a heightened or intense state of excitement or joy. You might think of euphoria in terms of being hypnotized, in that you lose clarity of thought and you aren't fully aware of the world around you. Our examples. Example one, they said that the drug caused a state of euphoria, so these people didn't even understand how bad things were. Example two, the team were absolutely euphoric following their win, and the next day, some of them said it was all a blur. They couldn't remember what happened. Example three, she worked euphorically all day Friday in anticipation of flying away to her sunshine getaway. Our next word is contentment. Contentment. This is a condition or state of quiet satisfaction. Contentment implies comfort or relaxation, not overly happy or overjoyed, but not unhappy either. You might think of it as a restful kind of happiness, where things are just sufficient for you to be comfortable. Note that there is a very slight difference between contentment and contentedness, where the latter is the state of being contented. Our examples. Example one. The little boy had eaten all the ice cream before falling asleep with a look of contentment on his face. Example two. I was quite contented to just sit back and watch them all play on the beach. I had a cold drink and a book to read. That was enough for me. Example three. She settled into the bath contentedly, intending to relax in the hot water and forget about her troubles. Our next word is gratification. Gratification. This is pleasure, usually derived from achieving satisfaction. You might find this word and its synonyms used more in writing than in spoken English. The word sexual is commonly associated with the noun to speak of sexual gratification, highlighting that this word indicates achieving satisfaction in the wake of desire. But there are other uses. Example one. I felt immense gratification when I finally received my doctorate. I had worked so hard for it. Example two, she was incredibly gratified to receive the reward as it was the culmination of years of perseverance. Example three, the round of applause was so gratifying to hear that it brought a tear to his eye. Example four, they settled into their seats for a gratifyingly pleasurable experience, having waited for months to see the show. Our next word is blissfulness, 
blissfulness. This is a state of comfortable happiness or contentment. For this word, as a general rule of thumb, you can think of bliss as a much more convenient synonym for blissfulness. It sometimes has hyperbolic or poetic connotations as it describes a state of dreamlike or romantic happiness. Our examples. Example one. With their arms around each other, they were in a state of complete bliss as they gazed out across the water. Example two. The couple settled into a blissful marriage, completely relaxed in each other's company. In this next example, you will see how the adverb can be used to describe a state of disconnection. Example three. Leaning back in the lounger with her eyes closed, she was blissfully unaware of the dangerous spider crawling up her leg. Now we'll move on to our advanced exam synonyms. Our first word is jubilation. Jubilation. This is a feeling of great happiness or victory. The word jubilation is often used in relation to celebrations of victory or for people physically expressing their happiness, perhaps at a party or festival. Our examples. Example one. When they won the Tidy Towns competition, there was great jubilation amongst the townsfolk who danced and sang all night. Example two. The Olympics team returned jubilant from Japan with plenty of medals to show off throughout the city. Example three. They waved the flag jubilantly, much to the delight of their roaring fans. Our next word is delirium. Delirium. This is incredibly happy, often to the point of mental disorientation. While you can be delirious with joy, being delirious or being in a state of delirium is often used to talk about someone who is confused and not making sense. This can have negative con connotations in mental health circles, but it can also mean that someone is so incredibly happy that they are disconnected from reality. Let's look at some examples. Example one. Lost and dehydrated in the desert, the travelers were in a state of delirium, seeing things that didn't exist. Example two. After years of struggling with his new business, the man signed a multi-million dollar contract and was delirious when he came out of the building. Example three. The sun had been beating down on my head all day and my friend said I was babbling deliriously and not making any sense. Our next word is exuberance. Exuberance. Being full of excitement and energy. When we think of children running around and wanting to know everything all at once, we think of exuberance. I think these examples will make the meaning very clear. Example one. Little children have a healthy exuberance when they encounter something new and interesting. They're very inquisitive. Example two. When we brought our puppy home for the first time, he was tremendously exuberant running around the house and exploring every nook and cranny. Example three. He rushed through his description of events, exuberantly recounting the most exciting moments of the weekend. Our next word is delectation. Delectation. This is a sense of enjoyment or pleasure. This word is quite hyperbolic and much more likely to be used either ironically or in writing. It's an old fashioned word meaning a sense of enjoyment, but it can also relate to something that is extremely delicious or enjoyable when it comes to food. Our examples. Example one. Ladies and gentlemen, for your delectation this evening, please welcome the angelic voice of Lady Jane. Example two. I have to say the meal was absolutely delectable. Please give my compliments to the chef. Example three. The actor portrayed the role in a delectably endearing way. They definitely deserve the Oscar. Our next word is elation. Elation. And this is great happiness and excitement. A sense of elation is like lifting 
of your emotions to a higher state of happiness. As if a weight has been removed from you. It might follow your waiting for the results of something. Our examples. Example one. As she heard the announcement, the elation she felt was palpable and everyone was overjoyed for her. Example two. They were understandably elated when they got the news, as they'd been trying for a baby for years. Example three. They chatted elatedly into the daylight hours, enjoying each other's company. Our next word is exhilaration. Exhilaration. This is a feeling of elation, excitement or happiness. Exhilaration is like a shock of excitement coursing through your body. A rush of pleasure that sends shivers through you. Check out these examples for clarification. Example one. I was so caught up in the exhilaration of the roller coaster that I didn't even notice my glasses falling off. Example two. She felt thoroughly exhilarated after the parachute jump. She was grinning from ear to ear. Example three. The early morning swimmers said that jumping into the cold water was an exhilarating experience. Example four. Following their exhilaratingly beautiful performance, the dancers were awarded a gold medal in the competition. Our next word is joviality. Joviality. This is behaving in a cheerful manner or being in a good mood. You're very unlikely to hear this word in everyday English, but you might find it in more upmarket writing or in period literature. It's quite archaic. Our examples. Example one. There was an air of joviality about the proceedings. Everyone was really looking forward to them. Example two. He had always been known as a jovial sort of fellow, always joking and laughing. Example three. She usually approached her work quite jovially, but today something wasn't right. She seemed sad. Our next word is rapture. Rapture. This is an expression of sheer delight or wonder. Like our last example, rapture is also a more literary term, and you might have heard it in relation to Christian theology. Here, however, it's used to speak about being stunned or in awe of something wonderful. Our examples. Example one. As they lay back in the planetarium and looked up at the galaxy, they felt a sense of peaceful rapture take hold. Example two. The audience broke into a rapturous applause as the performance ended. It was simply mesmerizing. Example three. After the ceremony, he was welcomed rapturously into the group as they slapped his back and shook his head. Our next word is gaiety. Gaiety. This is a state of lightheartedness or cheerfulness. Again, this word is formal and more literally in nature, and it's quite archaic. The adjective and adverb form have nothing to do with homosexuality but nowadays they might be confused. Remember that the words refer to a state or outlook of happiness or merriment. Our examples. Example one. With great gaiety, the people streamed out into the streets and continued the party. Example two. She took a rather gaysome view of the world and never allowed anything to bring her down. Example three. He strolled gaily through the streets, showing off his new clothes. Here we have a kind of scale in relation to the degrees of happiness. Our synonyms are in different groups, with the common use synonyms on top and the advanced synonyms on the bottom. This is a purely subjective representation, and generally speaking, the degree of happiness increases as you move from left to right, up to the point where euphoria or delirium are almost like madness. Even though contentment and bliss are said to be ideal states of happiness, ecstasy and elation are much more intense experiences. We hope you found this video helpful for expanding your vocabulary. 
Remember that you will find more vocabulary related to happiness on this video's corresponding webpage on EnglishLogica.com. As well as nouns and adjectives, we cover lots of verbs and adverbs that can be associated with these synonyms. Thanks for joining us and good luck learning English.